Did you know if you grab a lemon from the store and take out one of the seeds? Soak it in a glass of water for about one hour. Then grab a piece of paper towel and wet it. Put it down on the counter. Put the lemon seed on top. Thank you, little baby seed. Fold the paper towel over a few times and then place it in a Ziploc bag. And then place it somewhere dark like in your cabinet. In about a week, open it up and you'll see, boom, it sprouted. Grab a pot with some soil and then plant the seed tail down. Water it, get the soil nice and moist. Cover the top to create a humid environment inside of it. And pretty soon, it'll grow into a lemon seedling. When it grows to 12 inches long, transplant it into a bigger pot or plant it outside in your garden. Can you believe that every single one of the seeds you find in a lemon can produce up to 120 new lemons? So grow your own lemons! Did you know if you grab a blueberry and gently smush it with your fingers? Then grab a pile of some fresh soil and plant the blueberry in the middle. Then lightly water it. Cover it with a plastic bottle for humidity and to protect it from bugs and insects. And pretty soon, you'll have a blueberry seedling growing. Feed it some banana water from time to time. It'll boost its growth. Once it grows to at least 12 inches long, transplant it into a bigger pot or outside and grow some blueberries. One blueberry bush can produce up to five pounds of blueberries. That's 10 of these. And one blueberry is all it takes. When you cut into an avocado, don't throw out the pit. Instead, what you want to do is take it out, but with a spoon, not a knife, so you don't damage the seed. Then soak it in water for one hour. Take it out and peel off the skin. The flat part is the bottom and the pointy part is the top. This is when you grab three toothpicks and place them around the pit. But I figured out a new way using shower rod rings. The next thing you want to do is fill up a glass with water and place the seed so just the bottom touches the water. Change the water daily and only use filtered water. Over the next four weeks, you'll see a root growing from the bottom, then the seed will crack open and you'll see a stem growing from the top. This is when most people make a mistake. They see a few sets of leaves and get tempted to transplant it into soil. So what you have to do is when it's six inches long, you gotta cut it back three inches. That's gonna encourage it to grow more. And when the new sets of leaves grow out, only then can you transplant it into soil. Keep cutting it back every 12 inches or else it's gonna stop growing. So if you haven't started an avocado plant yet, try it now and do it the right way. When you buy a dragon fruit at the store and cut it open, don't just eat the seeds. Instead, rip off a little piece of toilet paper, slap the dragon fruit on it and turn it. The seeds are gonna stick to the paper. Fold it, grab the pot, put some soil in it. The next thing you wanna do is place the toilet paper with the seeds right in the pot. Lightly sprinkle with soil, mist it with water, and cover with a plastic or a Ziploc bag. Place it somewhere warm and well lit, and then boom, pretty soon you'll have these cute little dragon seedlings. So grow some dragon fruit, and if you have kids, this is a fun project to do with them. Did you know if you grab a date, gently rip it apart, inside of it you'll find a stone. Don't throw it out. Instead, soak it in a bowl of water for 12 hours. This will rehydrate the seed and trigger it to become alive again. The next thing you want to do is wet a paper towel, place it on the counter, put the stone on top, and then fold it a few times. Ziploc bag it. And then place it somewhere warm and dark, like above your oven. After a few weeks, check up on it and you'll see... Boom! Oh, the stone has sprouted. Grab a pot with soil. Make sure it's nice and fluffy. Don't pack it down. Make a hole in the middle and gently plant the date seed. Then give it a nice watering. Water it until it starts to drip from the bottom. Put a bottle over it for humidity. And before you know it, it's gonna grow into a seedling. When it's at least six inches long, transplant it into a bigger pot. It's gonna grow bigger and start looking more like a date pot. As it grows bigger, keep transplanting it into bigger pots. Keep doing this and then you can plant it outside. Did you know if you grab a mango, cut all the fruit off until you're left with the husk? Then use a sharp knife to create a little slit in the middle. Grab a butter knife and carefully pry it open. Inside of it, you'll find a baby mango seed. Soak the seed in a bowl of water for one hour. Then grab a pot with soil, grab the seed and plant to the side where it curves. Water it, cover it with a bottle or a bag for humidity. Pretty soon it'll start to sprout. When it grows to at least six inches 
long, plant it in a bigger pot and grow a mango tree. And yes, it might take some time to grow, but in the end, when you taste your own homegrown food, it's all worth it. Did you know if you grab an orange and take out one of the seeds, then soak it in a bowl of water for about 30 minutes, then grab two cotton pads, dip them in the water, place them on a counter, sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on one of them, put the seed on top, and cover it with the other cotton pad. Then place it in an airtight container and put it somewhere warm and dark like above the oven. In about a week, check this out. Oh, it sprouted. The next thing you wanna do is plant the tail down into a pot with soil. Place a little shot glass over it for some extra humidity. Water it, keep taking care of it, and pretty soon, it'll grow into a little baby orange seedling. It'll keep growing and growing until you got an orange tree with oranges. Plants are awesome. Start growing your own fruits and vegetables. Did you know you can grow a lemon tree in a pot? Grab a lemon from the store and take out a few seeds. Remove the pulp and then soak the seeds in a bowl of water for one hour. Place the seeds on a wet paper towel, fold it a few times, put it in a Ziploc bag somewhere warm and dark. In about five days, the seeds will root. Plant them tail down into a pot with soil, Keep the soil moist and it'll grow into a seedling. Mist it with chamomile tea a few times a week. It'll encourage the growth. Cover it with a plastic bag or a bottle to create humidity and to protect it from bugs and insects. Provide it with nutrients, keep taking care of it, transplant it when it gets to about 12 inches long, and then boom, you'll have a lemon tree in no time. I mean, just the process of growing lemons is so awesome. So start growing a lemon tree. When you eat a pineapple, don't throw out the top. Instead, twist it off, then peel off the bottom three, four sets of leaves. This is what you want it to look like, but you gotta let it heal, so leave it out to dry for two days. Then grab a pot with soil, plant the pineapple top by twisting it in the soil. Water it from the top every four to five days, and pretty soon, the leaves will start growing outwards like this. A stem will grow from the middle, and then boom, a really fast anything happens. Birth of a new pineapple. So don't throw it out. Try growing a pineapple. When you cut into one, all these are actually seeds. The first thing you want to do is pick a few of them out. Use a paper towel to smush them and get all the fruit off. Soak the seeds in a bowl of water for about six hours. Then wet a paper towel, put the seeds on top, place it in a Ziploc bag, and place it somewhere warm and dark like in a cabinet above the oven. In just a few days, check this out. Boom, the seeds have sprouted. Then plant each one in a pot with soil, water it, and cover with a bottle for humidity. It'll continue growing and growing when it's at least six inches long, transplant it into a bigger pot, and grow some pomegranates. Did you know if you grab a raspberry, place it on a paper towel, fold it, smush it, and rub it, the seeds will separate. Grab a piece of toilet paper, put some of the seeds on top of it, fold the toilet paper over once, grab a pot with soil, and put the toilet paper with the seeds right on top. Cover it with some fresh soil, Lightly water it, and pretty soon you'll have a raspberry seedling. Once they grow to six inches long, plant them outside and grow some raspberries. Just one raspberry plant can produce hundreds of raspberries. Did you know if you grab a lychee, cut it open and take out the seed? Then immediately put it in some water and let it soak for six hours. Then grab two cotton pads, wet them, and sandwich the seed in the middle of them. Place it in a Ziploc bag, and then place it somewhere warm and dark. After a few days, open it up, you'll see. Oh, it sprouted. Grab a pot with soil and plant the seed roots down. Sprinkle some soil on top, water it thoroughly, and it'll grow into a seedling. Transplant it into a bigger pot. Oh, when it's at least eight inches long, plant it outside and grow some lychees. Did you know if you grab a kiwi and cut it in half the long way? Then rip off three pieces of paper towel, put them on a counter, grab a butter knife and scrape out the seeds, then smudge them down onto the first paper towel. Scrape them off from the first paper towel and transfer them onto the second one. And repeat the process until there's no food left on the seeds. They should be bouncing off the paper towel like this. Once they're nice and bouncy, lightly piss the paper towel with water, fold it a few times, place it in the Ziploc bag, zip it locked, in about a week, check up on the seeds and you'll see they've sprouted. 
The next thing you want to do is grab a pad with some loose soil, place the sprout of kiwi seeds on top, and then lightly cover it with soil. Water it. Cover the pot with a bag and place it on the windowsill. Pretty soon, those little kiwi seeds will become seedlings. Transplant each one into a separate pot and then start growing some kiwis. Did you know if you grab a cucumber and slice it in half, then scrape out the seeds into a glass of water, mix it around, if the seeds sink to the bottom, they're good seeds. Grab the good seeds and place them on a wet paper towel. Grab some cinnamon and sprinkle some on top. Cinnamon prevents mold and helps seeds sprout fast. Fold the paper towel over, put it in a Ziploc bag, zip it locked, and in just three days, check this out. Boom! Baby cucumber seedlings. Plant each one in soil and grow some cucumbers. Each seed will produce long, beautiful vines and produce 15 cucumbers. Grow them outside in your garden or inside your house. All you need is a pot and a stick. When you're done eating a peach, don't throw out the pit. Instead, what you want to do is crack it open. Inside of it, you'll find a seed of life. Soak the seed in a bowl of water for about six hours. The next thing you want to do is fill up a small container with some moist soil. Then place the seed on top and cover with more soil. Cover it with some wrap and place it in the fridge. The reason why you need to put it in the fridge is because some seeds need to go through a cold treatment in order to sprout. That's what happens in nature. So keep checking up on it and eventually you'll see that the seed has sprouted. Boom! Then grab a pot with soil and plant your peach seed and pretty soon it'll become a seedling. When it's at least six inches long, plant it outside and grow a peach tree. When you cut into a watermelon, you see these seeds? Don't just eat them. Instead, pick one of them out. Grab a pot with soil and plant the seed about one inch deep. Lightly water it and in just three weeks it'll sprout. Then grow and grow faster with each day. It grows at least six inches long. Transplant it into a bigger pot or outside in your garden and grow some watermelon. Did you know you can grow a pineapple in a pot with a pineapple from the store? The first thing you want to do is twist off the top. Then carefully peel off the bottom four layers of leaves. What you want to do is expose the skin so the roots can grow. Leave it out to dry for two days so the top can heal. The next thing you want to do is place it over a glass of water. Place it somewhere well lit away from direct sunlight. Pretty soon you'll see that a bunch of roots have grown. Then just get a pot with soil in it, make a hole in the middle, plant the pineapple top, water it from the top only and fertilize it with banana water from time to time. It'll love it. What's gonna happen is that the leaves are gonna start growing out like this one, a stem is gonna grow from the middle, and then it's gonna flower and turn into a pineapple. Six hours of light, let the soil dry out before you water again. Keep going, and you'll have a pineapple pretty soon.